alarms. There's the ones that wake you up in the morning, tell you you've got a message, that your lunch is ready, to close the fridge door, emails, phone calls, Skype calls, Facebook message, turbulence, and alert. And one particular researcher has created this, an alarm to stand out from the crowd, an alarm to stop a head-on car collision. Her name is... I'm Carol Baldwin. And she's... I am the director of the Human Factors and Applied Cognition program at George Mason University. So how do you go about creating one of the world's most annoying sounds? We started out by going out and getting recordings of actual sounds that were in automobiles currently. Then we took those sounds back to the lab. Once they collected the sounds, it was time to test on people. They created a system where the listener could play a sound and then put it in a category that the sound most represented. Either a low urgency, like a Facebook notification, a medium range urgency, like a check engine alert, and finally, a high level urgency, like an oncoming collision warning. And then from there, we set up a series of driving simulator studies and they're driving along and they're doing a, another task just to kind of give them a distraction component and then suddenly, unexpectedly, the car that they're following would break suddenly and we looked at their collision avoidance response, um, the timing of that. They created the perfect forward collision warning alarm and this was really important because we found that the sounds being used currently weren't perceived as being very urgent. You know, a poorly designed sound can be more dangerous than not having a warning at all. So thanks for using the most annoying sound to keep us safe.